Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Bonnie and I would love it if you subscribe. So today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite recipes. So you want to start off by browning your meat and if you're like me and you don't plan ahead and yours is still frozen, I would recommend putting it on a low heat. While that's browning, I peel my butternut squash. I actually peel with a knife because I find a peeler isn't strong enough or thick enough or something. Then once you're done peeling the butternut squash, you want to get it and cut it into cubes. You're going to want a decent amount of onion for this and then you want to cut it up small. I'm using my Power Chopper XL that I just recently got with my pressure cooker. Once you're done all that, I add one tablespoon of cumin to the meat, one tablespoon of paprika, and a pinch of nutmeg, which looked like it was more than a pinch. Some salt, pepper, and some olive oil, and about a spoonful of garlic if you're lazy like me and you just have the garlic pre-minced for you. Then you want to go ahead and add the butternut squash to the meat, add the onions, and then cover the pot again. Now for the spice. You need one or half of one, it depends how spicy you like things, of sereno peppers, I think that's how you say them. And don't let these things fool you, they are freaking spicy, especially if you're using ground turkey like I am. So you wanna cut it up into really small pieces and then add it into the mixture. You wanna cook it on medium for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're done, seriously, best simplest meal I've had in a very long time. 